And this is the Men's College Soccer Review presented by the National Soccer Coaches Association of America. The largest soccer coaches organization in the world, the NSCAA, is dedicated to providing the best in soccer coaching education and membership services and benefits. To learn more, visit nscaa.com. And welcome to Fetzer Field, ACC Men's Soccer, the number five North Carolina Tar Heels and the Duke Blue Devils, the Battle of the Blues. Today's game is presented by KFC. Today is a KFC day, and today tastes so good. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky, along with my broadcast partner, Keith the Batsick. And Keith, when you, normally when you say UNC Duke, enough said. But in this one, there's a lot of intrigue in this one. Duke, last time we saw them, they lost 1-0. They won four in a row, and they've scored 17 goals. Well, I think that's the big thing is the 17 goals in four games, you know, and some, some pretty big wins that they've had. And one of the big things, Palatichuk, the freshman, has moved up top with Andrew Wenger, and that is a potent strike force. But speaking of potent strike forces, you know, that's what you talk about when you, when you say UNC as well. A lot of players that can really be dangerous, Enzo Martinez in particular, Billy Shuler up top. Lovejoy. I mean, they got so many people that you have to worry about when you're preparing for them. But for sure, two of the hottest teams in the country. UNC clearly one of the best teams in the country. Duke wants this game to try to prove that they can be as well. And Keith, of course, a big story here at UNC. After 22 years at the helm, Omar Bolovich bolted for Creighton. <laughs> in steps assistant coach Carlos Samuano is picked right up where Elmar left off. They're 8 1, number 5 in the country. Well, there's a reason that Elmar had picked uh, Carlos to be his assistant, is because they see things uh, the same way and they're continuing to play some of the best soccer in the country. Not just winning, but soccer that I think is just really nice to watch. Great possession ball, creating stuff in the attack. And Carlos has really picked up you know, right where Elmar's you know, left off. Elmar, of course, with you know, Creighton. Uh, they haven't let in a goal all year either. You know, not doing too bad where he went to. Keith, of course, we love when teams score goals. Andrew Wenger for Duke has got eight goals and four assists in the last four games. He's scoring goals. A lot of great goal scorers around the country. Well, this last week, it was the hat trick week, I think. Uh, Darren Maddox at Akron has a hat trick. Luis Silva at uh, UC Santa Barbara. By the way, those are uh, the two teams playing on this Wednesday in Fox Soccer Channel. Uh, we had a hat trick also by Gayazi Zardes for Cal Bakersfield. He is leading the country in scoring along with Andrew Wenger and will base not only a hat trick but four goals in that game. However, one of the biggest goals of the year by Kinesius, all right, a 25-yard volley. This made the ESPN Sports Center number two highlight of the day by Andrew Incho. Congratulations to him, and we do love those goals. Hopefully we see a bunch tonight as well. So today we're in Chapel Hill. The schedule's only going to get better as we go along. Yeah, well, this uh, coming up week, important to note that we have a Wednesday and a Friday game for the men's package. And Wednesday, it is defending national champs Akron at Santa Barbara. You'd know there's going to be a big crowd. They had over 13,000 there last week. And then Friday, we go up to Portland, where Portland will be hosting San Diego. And Portland, a red-hot team as well right now. All right, let's take a look now at the NSCAA Continental Tire Top 25. Ray Reed has Connecticut at number one. Yeah, well, Ray is definitely doing a big overtime win over Yale. It went right down to the final minute of the second overtime to defeat Brian Tompkins' team. But there's Creighton at number two. No goals allowed playing Maryland this weekend at number three. And, of course, we just talked about Akron, a big win over Ohio State midweek in front of 5,800 people. And then you see Santa Barbara. Hey, they lost to UC Riverside this week, but they're going to be back in it, we know, and they play Irvine this weekend. All right, Keith, when you flip to the second ten, who do you like? Well, first of all, just have a look that you've got Boston College, an ACC team, a team going. They're, they are really good this year. Central, everybody's trying to wonder, are these teams, this team for real? Well, they beat Kentucky in overtime, so they now have seven wins, only one loss and a tie. And then we had Big East last week, well, three in a run, South Florida and Georgetown, Georgetown and Penn State with a 0-0 midweek tie. Good stuff, Keith. And in the final five? Well, the final five was Kentucky had that loss uh, to UCF, you know, so that's four, four losses. That would be tough for them to stay in the top 25. But how about Furman? They are hot 8-1-2 and two this year. The big win over UC upsta USC Upstate 2-1. to one. And, of course, UCLA, I think they're going to be climbing up the whole season long. Great stuff from Keith Tabatsnik. Your top 25 are presented by Continental Tire. Continental Tire, innovative technology, driving confidence. Find out more at ContinentalTire.com. And your Disney Soccer NSCA Player of the Week, Stephen Evans for Portland. Well, we talked about we're going to Portland. They are hot. The sophomore had three goals and two assists in the week to lead the Pilots to three big wins. Congratulations, Stephen. All right, and your Disney Soccer NSCA Women's Player of the Week, Alexis Owens. Well, how about it for Alexis? Her first start of her career, the freshman Tennessee, a 4-2 to win over number 6 Florida. Way to go on your first start. Hopefully she gets more now. All right, those are your Disney Soccer NSCAA Players of the Week. 
An overtime thriller on Tobacco Road. After 110 minutes, we saw it all. But the final score, North Carolina 2 and the Duke Blue Devils 2. Keith, and when we roll to the highlights, that can barely encapsulate what really happened in this one. No, really, it was end-to-end, -end, but the first 15 minutes, it was Duke going at him, and this is Andrew Wenger going down the right side with the cross in, and it's Nick Palatichuk meeting it with his right foot, putting it back Goodwin for the goal, and then late in the half, a back heel by Rub Love, Lovejoy. Philly Schuler turning the corner, own goal by Riley Wolf, but he'll make up for that later. Before that could happen, in the second half, Philly Schuler beats one, beats two, beats three, and beats the goalkeeper with the shot to the left side, and there's Riley Wolf equalizing late in the game for Duke 2-2 and then red card to Jordan McCurry on that foul there on uh, Morales McCurry out UNC plays down a man for the rest of the game but it ends up 2-2 a fair result here in Chapel Hill all right we got more great soccer coming though in front of what will be a huge crowd UC Santa Barbara and Akron Wednesday 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer and then how about Portland and San Diego two days later as the NSCA game of the week rolls on on Fox Soccer. Your men's college soccer review presented by the NSCAA, the largest soccer coaches organization in the world. The NSCAA is dedicated to providing the best in soccer coaching education and membership services and benefits. To learn more, visit NSCAA.com.